So, uh, part two for discussion uh, for Facing Africa um, airway management equipment is the use of video uh, laryngoscopy. Um, we have two options here. Um, one is the GlideScope. Um, this is a so-called GlideScope Ranger device, um, which has a baton, and, uh, a, um, which is reusable, obviously. And a single use, although we have reused these um, uh, in, in Ethiopia, a single use um, stat or cover. Um, so it has a light source, it has a camera at the end. Now the shape of this is such that it's around the corner view. So direct laryngoscopy isn't possible. Um, what's required is either a stylet, um, this is an example of a, a stylet which is packaged, which allows you to shape the endotracheal tube, which can be a host of options from an oral through an armored tube. And basically the shape essentially is a, a hockey stick shape or a 90 degree matching the curvature of the video laryngoscope. The second option we have is, uh, and the one um, that we've used, um, well, probably um, on, on more occasions, is the Macintosh McGrath. Um, and the, the advantage of this device is it's ergonomically um, very nice to handle. It is a Macintosh style laryngoscope, so the technique allows you to, to, to perform conventional Macintosh laryngoscopy um, into the molecular epiglottis and it is then possible to have both a direct view and also to utilize the screen a so-called indirect or video laryngoscopy view. Um, and then with correct technique it is then possible to place an endotracheal tube directly and it's also extremely useful for guiding uh, a nasotracheal tube there are a couple of things obviously required if you look at the depth of the blade, probably arguably about one and a half centimeters mouth opening as a minimum requirement would allow you to get the blade into place. They're also extremely useful for guiding nasogastric tube placements for exactly confirming that your NG tube um, is passed correctly um, into the stomach. Um, and of course, these are just alternatives to a conventional Macintosh um, laryngoscope for the management of our cases. Can you pull the lip back there for me, please? Insert the blade over the tongue, and can you see on the screen the epiglottis here? And I insert the device like an ordinary laryngoscope, and there are the cords. That is a good view. Is she? Pause. Pause at the larynx, please, Dave, right. so I can look at the screen and show you. Okay. Can you see? This is the cuff there. And I am now maneuvering the device into the larynx. Can you see? Ready? Can you see? The tube has now gone into the larynx under, di under indirect vision. Epiglottis, tube, cords, arotenoid. Is she? Okay. <laughs> These McGill's intubating forceps. These are actually paediatric size, but I think they will suffice. And I'm doing it under direct vision. Can you see? Direct vision. And it just, the general principle is if you can see what you're doing, it is safer. Mm -hmm. This can be tied to the tube. Mm -hmm. So when the tube comes out, the throat pack must come out. Mm -hmm. That is a safety device. Now, I can't put it there because surgeon's working. But that is a reminder. Mm -hmm. See? So